Okay guys, this is my design for my 1974 International Lodestar 1600 with a 345 V8 four barrel holly. So this is my sleeper bird design. Before I was driving trucks, I was uh, self-taught vehicle designer, which I actually designed the Chevrolet SS, the four-door sedan. Uh, I actually designed that vehicle until G General Motors stole it from me. That's a long story. It also got recognized by a Ford Motor Company for designs that I did. But anyways, this is just a rough sketch. So, typical sleeper berth. This is just the back line here. Um, so, this is back line here so this is gonna be my pens kind of fucking up on me so I haven't refined the lines yet of what your typical access is kind of like a side triangle then you got your little cap here you know your little offline cap and your little shape that that round up shape for aerodynamics well well I got something a little different so I can have fucking headroom fuck this bullshit alright this is just kinda what's gonna look like so this is the cab of the truck you know you can you got the you got your uh, you know your door and you know there's uh, there's your firewall firewall and shit anyways so this is my design alright so access panel here a hatch directly through that I could just climb up boom inside no exterior access through here to here to here to here to here uh, I just kind of want it like a one-way kind of access for extra security so I can just lock that hatch and you know if somebody was to get inside they can't get up to the to the sleeper berth so so um, so this is for my 1974 International Lodestar 1600 345 V8 um, sleeper birth design so this is what I sketched out here so access panel that's if you're looking directly at the roof itself I'm gonna cut a square uh, I'm gonna put uh, you know a little a little thing right there but uh, So that's gonna be your um, it's your roof. This is your your window. Uh, you know. So this is gonna be my design to fit the roof itself. So I gotta get exact measurements on um, the roof cap itself, which. I think it's a good size long ways so I can honestly make this a little bit longer on the side just to kind of reach edge but I really want to build it up so I'm going to build it like up that way I have enough leg room to lay out I'm 6'3 so I'm going to have to build it to my size to fit like a bed running from uh from here to here and then so that way you know I got a bed I can lay out I got room to my access panel which is right here okay so it's my sketch here and you know I'm gonna show you guys something here too you wanna see me draw a car alright I'm gonna show you something 
Start out with your baseline. Wheels. Wheels. Alright. No. Give you a quick little sketch here. See how I just did like that. Alright. Now I'm going to show you guys something here. Determine where you want the front of the vehicle. So I'm going to go like this. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Let me, let me do this light here. All right. There we go. That's better. So I'm going to determine that I want the front of this vehicle here. And I want these little fancy lights like that. bring that here okay so you now you can add some little cool little rims you know little spiders or you know it's just little spider rims or something you know just a little sporty futuristic looking rims um, lightning rims or whatever you know so okay so now for the back make this a little flat back here a little cool little hot rod we're not all just truck drivers you know we have many backgrounds and so much stuff and I'm actually drawing this right now so this is all recorded right here so alright so it's not traced nothing nothing traced alright so so I'm gonna show you guys something so the body see how I'm building that that pillar up And then I'm bringing it to where I want it. Now this is a sporty car. See, I just bring the top. Now, you're going to work on that pillar, that back pillar. Okay, and then you gotta work on this line here. Okay, so this is your back pillar. You got your glass right here. Okay, see that? Now you're gonna draw your line. See. Y'all don't believe me that I designed the Chevrolet SS? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you believe what you want to believe, but I'm going to tell you what to do. So this is the other side door. This is just like a little sporty little uh, concept model here. All right. So a rounded front, that I have here, you know, with a little smooth, sleek design, okay, boom, alright, so, I did engineering, and stuff I designed the Chevrolet SS um, you know I designed the whole fucking thing I drew it everything I have the design and everything I still have all all the designs everything like that 
they even admit to stealing my idea. So if you want to check me out, go to uh, www.thetimesnews.com. Burlington Times News is what you can put in. Burlington Times News, North Carolina. You can click on their website. In the search bar, you can type in uh, Never Exhaust Your Dreams. Okay, so that's Never Exhaust Your Dreams. Pull me up. You'll see the story. You know, everything like that. But this is your little side view. This is a little bit different than my typical videos, but I've been recognized by Ford Motor Company. They sent me a trophy and all that stuff. Um, you know, but they never paid me for my ideas. I, I designed a whole bunch of cool stuff. General Motors stole my shit. They stole my designs. Okay, so General Motors, if you're watching this, you stole my stuff. Everybody knows it. The newspaper even, even says it. You stole my stuff. That was wrong. I'm letting everybody on here know I designed that Chevrolet SS. So if you got that 415 horsepower, 415 foot-pounds of torque, Chevrolet SS four-door sedan that does 0 to 60 in 5 seconds flat, yeah, I designed that. Everything. The interior, the exterior, everything. Yeah. I did that. The motor, all that shit. Me. Okay? Anyways. Uh, cab design here. Roof cap. Okay, so you want to make it even dimension. Now, your typical standard semi-truck sleeper is like this. It's rounded like this. You're laying like this. It fucking sucks balls. Okay? So you don't want a fucking suck balls uh, sleeper design that them bitch-ass engineers can't fucking design shit for. Okay? You want something spacious like this. Okay? that still meets requirements that still meets height standard and everything still clear distances you're probably going to be at like 13.6 or like safety you're going to be like at 13 uh, 13 feet 6 inches 14 just to be on the safe side all right, anyways, but right here you can just climb up, boom, inside the bunk. You got a vent here you can close and open. I mean, I could put a door like right here, but I don't want somebody to like try to get into the sleeper berth, so this is the safest option here. And I mean, I could put a little emergency exit like right here so I got like two ways out you know top and bottom so uh, I mean if I wanted to put a little a little tiny little thing on that I can but I don't want to do that I just want to kind of leave it flat like that and then just it's not really gonna make a difference but so this is my design um, as you can see I drew that little sketch there for you guys uh, I can do hell let, let, let's let, let's see what else I got I haven't drawn in a while a while so let's let's see if I can if I still got it so let's see if you want to do all right let's do an instrument Panel. Okay, so let's do instrument panel. Make a little rendering. Got little gauges here. Yeah, you got a little gauge here. Once you start, you know, doing like drawings and stuff, like like it took me a while to get good at 
at drawing stuff. I mean, you know, I know that's a little crooked there, but it's a sketch. Sketches are just supposed to be little rough things. I mean, once you put it down and actually make it, I mean, it's, it's, you know, you just kind of get shape. I mean, it's okay if you can't do like three dimensional stuff. I mean, that's fine. Oh, uh, another thing. Uh, you guys know the K&N filter company is actually like Wix filter. They're the same company. Wix and K&N are the same company. They also stole my one of my designs. They actually stole my uh, home filter design, which I still have that email and everything there proven they stole that from me. So I had a couple of companies stole my designs. That's why I don't design anymore. That's why I don't draw anymore because they steal my shit. That's the thing. They always steal your shit. You remember Preston Tucker? That's one of my big idols. Uh, you know, he uh, designed the Tucker rocket. You know, he he designed that. Uh, you know, he. He designed all that, so. You know, so, yeah. You know. People want to steal people's shit, so. It's just kind of what happens. I mean, I can do like a whole, you know, I can do like a, a little, a little, a little T shifter. You know, or I could do something futuristic. Uh, shit. This is on. Yeah, it's still charging. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna draw something else to. I'm gonna draw something else for you guys. All right, let me do this. All right, All right so you draw a line. Now the straightest line. Not the... Straightest land that okay. kind of didn't want to. So, I mean, there's a lot of different 